Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog sessions. In this session, I am going to discuss about classes in System Vlog. So now onwards, we will be discussing about OOPS concept. Okay, OOPS means Object Oriented Programming. Why it is called OOPS? Because as the name suggests, Object Oriented Programming. It works based on the objects. Then what is this object? Object is nothing but a container. It allows you to store the data types, functions and task okay and also it provides the data abstraction and this classes classes allows object to create and delete dynamically this classes allows object to create and delete dynamically so we will discuss what is this classes and objects exactly okay i will give you a simple example this example helped me a lot when i was learning first time about this classes and loops concept okay so consider i want to build one house okay i want to build one house before we building the house what we will do first we will come up with the blueprint right so that blueprint for the house will say is that what my house will look like after we building it okay what will what the house will look like after we building it everything will be included in the house for example how many doors how many windows it has or what should be the color these things will be included in the blueprint so after we uh, having the, this blueprint can we live in that blueprint no, 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 right? We need to construct it. We need to build in the physical space. That house requires the uh, physical space, right? So we need to construct it. We can't live in the blueprint. So consider this blueprint as a class now. Okay, the blueprint is a class now. And after I building it, after I building it in the physical space, this is the object. Okay, this consider it has one door and one window. This door, windows are properties and methods. This functions, tasks, the values, variables, these are all the properties. Okay, so inside the class, the class is a blueprint and this constructed house is nothing but the object. Now I have a blueprint and I also constructed one house. So now I can build many more houses, right? I can build three more houses. Now I can build three more houses. All are identical only. All are identical. Then how you will say these are all different? Now I will give this as a blue color green color red color yellow color now i can say these are all different even though if it looks identical these are all different houses similarly in system very long when we want to describe the group of related features and functionality that time we can use the classes okay when we want to describe the group of related features we can insert it in the class so for example transaction class in system we log transactions class in test bench we will write on transaction class right inside the transaction class what is there the data's um, addresses data these things right this all the things will be included in the transaction class so the transactions class the it is a transaction class is on class it has all the properties and methods properties nothing but one the display method or and this data addresses here what is door and window these are all the address and data inside the transaction class so if we have this blueprint is a transaction class we need to construct it that means we need to construct the transaction object in order to store the values this is whatever the address and data is there we need to uh, give us some value right to that address and data we need to give some values so we need to store that in order to store we need to create the object object means giving the space giving the allocating the memory object means in the transaction class if we, if we want to create one object, we, that means we are allocating memory. We need to store this data and address, right? We need to store some values in the data and address. For that, we need to allocate some memory. So when we allocate the memory, that is called the object here. So I hope you understand this example. Now we will discuss in detail, okay? So classes allows object to create and delete dynamically. So this dynamically, why it is called dynamically? Module is static, right? In, mod, module is static, why? Because inside the module, whatever is there, it has a static lifetime. It is static. It will be, uh, it will be there throughout the simulation. But classes, here I will tell you why it is dynamically, okay? So first we will understand. Classes allows object to create and delete dynamically. We will create the object in the during the runtime. During the runtime simulation, we will allocate the memory. Also, we can delete it. So that's why it is dynamic. And it also provides a mechanism like handle or an object pointer that is used to access the object or assign it to some other handle. This classes provides a mechanism like handle 
or an object pointer that is used to access the object or assign it to some other handle. For example, now we created the object. Inside the object, we have data, address, that is nothing but a properties and uh, methods, right? To, we have to, uh, we need to access that value. For that, we have this handle. It will point to the object. It will point to the particular address or data, this handle, okay? So this handle means it will point. So it will pointer that is used to access the object. And we can also assign one, one object to another object. We can assign one handle to another handle. We, uh, everything we will see in the example, okay? So class defines a data type and an object is an instance of the particular class. This class is one user defined data type. Okay, what like we have logic data type, structure, unions, everything, right? Enums. Similarly, this class is also one user defined data type. And this object we discussed earlier, right? Object. This object is a instance of the particular class. For example, transaction class, transaction T1. That T1 is the instance of the transaction class. That is nothing but an object. Object, the specific name object because we when we create the memory for the that T1 instance right that is called the object and an object handle is nothing but a pointer for an object this handle handle is the pointer pointer to the object to access the methods to access the data to allocate some value right we will access with the handle the t1 dot data we will relate it that is a handle and if an object is not created then the default value for the class handle is null so <clears throat> we, we know class it is dynamic right class is dynamic in nature Dynamic means what? We will create the memory. Before creating the memory, you will write transaction T1, right? So now it has no memory because we have not created the memory. We have not created the object. That T1 is a handle now. So when it doesn't have any memory, it is null, okay? If an object is not created, then the default value for the class handle is null. This null word is not string, okay? It, we will not write this inside the um, inside the double united comma so we will write just null null is nothing but no memory okay Mem memory is not allocated yet and the class properties include data members of the different data types here we will we will use some terminologies we will not say data types we will say properties okay whatever the data types are there we will say uh, uh, we will uh, together say properties the data address whatever id these things everything is called as a properties variables basically variables we will call variables as a properties and methods the class methods include function and task for function and task we will call methods okay for variables we will call properties and for task and function we will say methods now we will see the example this is the syntax to write the class okay class is a keyword class and end class class and end class this is the class how to write the class and class class name you have to give the name and inside the class you can use the data members data members is nothing but class properties properties means what variables and methods methods means function and task okay task and function and variables we can write inside the class now we have uh, we know how to write the class now we will see the constructor i have already told right so we, first when we write the see class transaction this is the class transaction transaction tr this tr is the handle okay tr is pointing to the transaction class object okay it is pointing by using this tr only we will access the uh, data whatever is there inside the transaction class tr dot with the tr dot we will access so now tr is equals to new this new is a inbuilt method in the class system log classes have inbuilt method called new this new method helps us to create the memory to allocate the memory for the handle so new now this tr is equals to new this tr, TR was handle before now i allocated the memory now it is object tr is a object okay memory is allotted for the variable or object this class variable tr is nothing but a object now when we allocate the memory handle becomes the object see inside the classes we have function this is the constructor okay this is the invalid uh, this function new is a constructor constructor means it doesn't have any void okay function new it will not return anything but we will not use void function new inside the new you can initialize the values if you have some particular values you can initialize okay inside the constructor it has an inbuilt method you don't have to implement it when you have methods then only you can implement it otherwise you can just call 
tr is equals to new no need to implement it because it has a bin, built in function built in constructor okay function wide new wide new code specific this is invalid see we are using wide we should not use wide when you are implementing the constructor okay this is invalid as wide return type is used so don't use the wide this is about classes now we will see the examples um, for classes